gonna show you how to take the chain and the bar off the saw. So you got two bar nuts and a tensioner. The tensioner is what keeps, what tightens the chain around the bar. And in order to loosen it, we need to first break the bar nuts. And to get these bar nuts loose, just a little bit loose. And now we can alter the tensioner. So if you look closely here, let's see here. What the tensioner is actually doing is actually pushing the bar forward so that it tightens between the bar and the sprocket, which you'll see in a second. So if I'm tightening, you'll see the bar moving forward. You see that? It moved forward. Here, let me show you again. Probably missed it. See it moving back there? Well, you can see here, see how the chain is really loose? Watch this. If I tighten it, bar gets pushed forward, chain tightens. So you get that. So I loosen the bar nuts, take a little bit of tension off the, off the chain, doesn't need a whole lot, and then you come back to taking the bar nuts off the rest of the way. Also, make sure that your brake is off. If your brake is on, you can't take this plate off. So brake was off to start with. Loosen the bar nuts. Loosen the tensioner. Now, take the bar nuts off completely. And now, you'll be able to pull this guy right off. Okay, so now, put your bar nuts in a safe place. It's even a good idea to have extras on hand because you drop those things in the forest, you may never find them again. So, now you can see here, we got loose tension. We can literally just lift the bar right off and pull the chain off the sprocket. So, this guy is a sprocket right here, and that's what the chain fits into. That's like the drive chain right there, and you got that. Now we got our chain and the bar separate. This chain we just sharpened, so I'm gonna hang this chain up as a sharpened chain, and I'm gonna get our next chain. It's also good to, when you take the bar off, to know which way it was facing on the chainsaw. So I know that my chainsaw goes here, and I know the Husqvarna logo was right side up. When I put this back, I'm making a note that I'm gonna want that Husqvarna logo upside down on the chainsaw because you wanna flip this bar each time you use it, you'll have even wear on both sides. Okay, so now that, uh, well, whatever, I'll use this side. So now the next thing to do here, if you're putting the chain back on, is to throw it on the sprocket, tip of the bar. You're gonna want these drivers, this is the, the, mo the motion of the chain is clockwise. So you're gonna want these drivers facing this direction so they go with the clockwise motion. That thing is gonna spin around the bar. And then we then just reverse those steps. So let's get this guy, let's get the chain in the groove of the bar. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, so now I'm in the groove the whole way. So I'm pulling back on this chain and I'm going to throw it right into the saw, put it right on the sprocket. Okay, and then I'm going to pull forward to hold it in place. Next I'm going to drop this piece right over, get that tensioner. I should show you this too. This is the tensioner right here. And where we took it off, this guy will be right in the, exactly in the right place to put it back on again. So this little nub right there needs to fit into that hole right there. The reason there's holes on both sides is because when you flip the chain over, the bar over like we just did, you need one on the other side for it to fit into. So throw this guy on. It should just fit right in. What just happened here? Okay, boom. Now hand tighten the bar nuts while still holding this bar in place. Fingers are a little greasy, so I'm going to use this tool right here. And I'm going to get these not even snug, just before snug. We still want it loose, but we just want these bar nuts on enough to hold that bar up so that we don't have to hold it with our hand anymore. Now we can tension. Turn the tensioner counterclockwise, watch the bar go forward, and then we pull against, pull the chain away from the bar to see how tight it is. Now. Uh, rule of thumb, 
I don't remember what rule of thumb is. All I know is what works really well. I like my chain to be just about pretty tight, but have a little bit of give. I want to see the edge of those, the bottom sides of these drivers that fit in the uh, channel right there, or the bar. I want to see them pull a little bit away, about that far away. Maybe even a little bit tighter. Eh, not too tight. I'm going to leave it like this. You don't want to go too tight. If you go too tight, you're going to put stress on the, the bearing that this sprocket at the tip of the bar spins on and eventually you might blow the bearing and thus having to replace the tip prematurely. So not super tight. Once your tension good, you tighten up these bar nuts. Now, I'm not ever really going to advise to crank and kill these nuts, but I like to get them tight and because I don't want these things falling off in the woods. Again, I've had it happen before. And I haven't had extras, and it sucks. You gotta go out and find them on a weekend. Where are you gonna find these bar nuts on a weekend? You're not. Your local Husqvarna shop is not open on the weekends most of the time. So, um, those guys are nice and tight. Have some extra bar nuts in your pocket. And uh, we're ready to rip. Okay, so we just finished a day of cutting with uh, a chainsaw, 372 uh, XP Husqvarna. And uh, the chain is getting pretty dull. It's not cutting so fast anymore. Uh, and I want to talk about chainsaw sharpening or chainsaw chain.